Hello friends, we created a beautiful collection of lights and shadows for you to use for your photographs that will move your photo to the next level, that 100%. This is the example. We had this photo that we delivered to our client and uh, in our tiny room, we didn't have like big backgrounds, just a little bit uh, corner. So what we just created, we extended the background, added the light, added the chandelier, and added the light, uh, a little bit texture, and boom, right there. Completely awesome. Okay, and right now I'm gonna show you beautiful image of uh, my beautiful couple. What are we gonna do? We're gonna extend the background like you know, uh, we can't do it over here because we're missing the couch, but we're gonna definitely we can work over here. So see, she appears right one third of uh, the square, so it's perfect. So it's even this way will be even better. So this is our interest. This is the main. This is the beauty. And over there, we're gonna just create extra something beautiful just to bring more and more. Uh, attention to this uh, beautiful couple okay and uh, we just extended the image the canvas we can uh, we can add content aware to tool but I like to use just my brush I'm clicking option key just to taste it and with my 100% 100 opacity I'm just painting Okay, I really want this uh, background to be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna just blend this to this, to this. Not too much, make sure you don't have hard lines from the extended background. Okay, so right there, let's click it. Opacity 30%. And you can just just paint it over what I suggest just go to your adjustment tool click brightness go all the way up go back to uh, background layer so you can see all the imperfections or hard lines right there okay you can remove it right there so we don't need it okay it's extended and ready to use even right now, I'm gonna just add the snapshot so we can see this is the before. Beautiful. If you don't know what we're gonna create, it's just beautiful itself. You just look into the couple and it was like, okay, I might remove this, just paint it black, but we didn't think about it. It was just uh, right now when we wanna extend and put this image to the next level, you just thinking about all the details, okay? And this is next shot, already beautiful. It's like, oh my gosh, the, uh, the room is beautiful. It looks like your location is, uh, is huge, right? Uh, oh, so what, what we just, okay, here it is. So what I'm gonna uh, check, uh, what I'm gonna bring to them. Mm, okay, this is what I prepared. This is all our lights and shadows that we can add to the image but i i decided to go oh, i'm sorry uh, with this one kind of you know big arch uh, room effect i'm clicking command a and just drag into their photo okay i'm gonna lower the opacity just to level up with their floor and as we level up, those lights get kind of crooked. You can add this tool and ex like this. Just move it so it's nice and even. Okay, click OK. Okay, this image is already kind of blended, but uh, uh, with the opacity of 25%. This is the real one. 
But if, we, if you can lower opacity, you can work right away or you can blend it uh, with some multiply tool or screen, uh, screen uh, tool like this. And actually screen works uh, great for us. You just lower the opacity, click mask tool and mask out, brush away all the hard corners from our subject. Okay, I really love those lines that uh, this light left on the floor. With opacity of 20, just bring back her dress. Okay, this is, uh, I can just lower. This is the before and this is after. I do, maybe we can even move a little bit for some reason. I just love it this way. Yes. And we, all, we also have this bonus uh, chandelier that I like right there. And, but as you can zoom in, the light hitting this part. So, so we can just go to our uh, edit and transform and flip horizontal. So we're gonna flip horizontal so the light hitting actual side. You can add it right here just to balance uh, or over there, I think we're gonna add right there. Maybe lower it to create like bigger room. Otherwise, we'll be like, oh my gosh, it's hanging on the floor. Yeah, just a little bigger, even smaller looks bigger. Okay, click OK, and uh, I would like to. Uh, uh, add, um, remove brightness a little bit. I'm gonna remove brightness from here. Click my option tool and mask it to my layer of chandelier. So as you see, it's you see too bright, not too bright. But uh, I'm gonna go back to my mask tool and I will, oh, not that one, and I'll bring the lightness from this side a little more. So we just lower like shadow more on this side so that there is actual light hitting uh, our subject. Okay, so this is um, our second uh, snapshot. This is the before, this is after, this is after, after. And I would like to add effect. I'm gonna go to the blending mode, to the lighting mode, like light, uh, light, lighting. Let's see, try screen. Uh, let's go to normal and just lower the opacity to 13 works. Wherever number works for you, you just lower it and, and brush out every hard lines that doesn't work great let's see maybe with opacity 100 oh 10 percent we can just lower something okay you can click flatten the image click one more this is the right now before 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 and the starting point right completely different from this to this how good it is how awesome you can add any anything to this image like you know we have huge variety of lighting you can even add this lighting for example or something on just on a wall it doesn't have to be on the floor or just on the floor um it's just you, sky is the limit this is again this is our final image completely beautiful and different result from the one we had before so the problem with a small studio black backgrounds solved few clicks are digital overlays and backgrounds that you can use um, will bring your image will extend your image will give the luxury look to your image also you can for example you can add some tinting to photos like uh, you know if you want to just a yellowish kind of a filter whatever works for you or for your style just a little bit even like it 
it's a sunset for example it's not like bright day it's a sunset it's already giving some you know juice uh, to this image so far I'm, i am happy that i created this tutorial i hope you go and find wherever fits uh, and makes you happy with your photographs and thank you again for watching now was Svetlana Vronska. Bye.